How many artists can we describe as epic making? Shakespeare would probably make the list for his impact on the English language. So would the Beatles for changing rock music irrevocably in the 1960s. However you add up epic making artists, the list could never be complete without the German composer Ludwig van Beethoven. In this lesson, we'll explore Beethoven's stormy life and music and see how he changed the course of history by inspiring a new musical era, the Romantic period. Beethoven was born during music's classical period, which lasted from the mid-18th century to the early 19th century. It was a time when accessible, entertaining, elegant music was in vogue. Composers throughout Europe wrote in strict, predictable musical forms, and they were more interested in presenting beautiful, orderly sounds than exploring intense human emotions. Beethoven was born in 1770 to a working-class family in Bonn, Germany. As a young man, he moved to the musical epicenter of Vienna, Austria, where he studied with the renowned composer Franz Josef Haydn. Beethoven made a living playing private concerts for aristocratic audiences who were stunned both by his nasty temper and his sensitive, powerful piano playing. You can think of the young Beethoven as a temperamental emo rock star. When Beethoven was in his 20s, something happened that would ruin his piano career, but jumpstart his composing. He began to lose his hearing. He suffered an emotional crisis in 1802, which he described in a letter that scholars called his Heile Gunstalt Testament. In it, Beethoven confessed the depression caused by his disability, but also his determination to find hope through sharing music with the world. After this crisis, Beethoven produced increasingly experimental, powerful music. His works brought him such acclaim that he became the first composer to earn a living solely through writing music. Even before his death in 1827, Beethoven had become a cultural icon for young musicians. Just like you might have your favorite band's poster on the wall, hip young 19th century musicians might have statues of Beethoven, like you see in this famous painting of Parisian musicians and writers. Beethoven's life and music helped inspire a musical trend called Romanticism, in which narrative, originality, and emotion were all important. The style of Romanticism remained popular throughout the Romantic period, which lasted from around 1820 to 1910. To see how Beethoven's music inspired a shift from classical to Romantic style, you couldn't do better than look at his nine symphonies. A symphony is a work for orchestra in multiple sections called movements. This musical genre was invented during the classical period, and by Beethoven's time, symphonies were established as short, entertaining, conventional works. Let's look at three of Beethoven's symphonies to see how he infused new intensity into this classical genre. Beethoven's first groundbreaking symphony was his third symphony, subtitled Eroica, which means heroic. Beethoven began this symphony in 1803, only a year after writing his angst-laden Heile Gunstalt Testament. Many scholars think that Eroica expresses Beethoven's own struggle against depression and disability. Though Eroica follows the traditional structure of a classical symphony, it's longer and more intricate than any symphony that came before it. Its intense rhythms and clashing dissonances came as a shock to classical-era listeners, who expected symphonies to be entertaining and accessible. But connoisseurs lauded the work for opening the symphony genre to newer, more powerful emotions. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is his most famous one written between 1804 and 1808. You'll probably recognize its forceful opening notes, which have a famous rhythm of short, 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 long. There's a story that Beethoven described this opening saying, here fate knocks at the door. Whether or not this iconic chunk of music represents the knock of fate, it definitely surprised classical era listeners. <laughs> 
They were used to more tuneful melodies and symphonies, not raw sounds like what you just heard. Throughout the symphony's four movements, the opening motif returns again and again, undergoing musical transformations that tell a story of traveling from darkness into light. The motif gradually struggles out of the dark, minor key of the opening movement into the bright, triumphant key of C major, complete with trumpet fanfares. By tying each movement together with the same motif, Beethoven was the first person to create an overarching narrative in a symphony. Beethoven's fifth inspired Romantic-era composers to frame symphonies as grand narratives. In 1824, Beethoven wrote his final symphony, the Ninth Symphony, known as Choral Symphony. Wait a minute, you're thinking, didn't we learn that symphonies were written for orchestras, not choirs? That's right. Beethoven's Choral Symphony was a game changer because he decided to ditch the rules for a classical symphony, adding a choir to a genre that had always been dedicated to instruments alone. This would have surprised his listeners as much as you'd be surprised if you saw a football game end with a Broadway musical instead of a touchdown. The last movement of Beethoven's Ninth is a grand choral setting of Friedrich Schiller's poem of universal brotherhood, the Ode to Joy. By adding a choir to a symphony, Beethoven showed that he cared more about expressing himself in unique ways than following strict musical traditions. After Beethoven's Ninth, Romantic composers felt free to experiment with traditional forms and even invent their own musical structures. Beethoven had inspired them to value personal expression above musical tradition. Ludwig von Beethoven is a transitional figure between the classical period, which lasted from the mid-18th century to the early 19th century, and the Romantic period, which lasted from about 1820 to 1910. His nine symphonies, or multi-movement works for orchestra, inspired Romantic composers to experiment with musical forms and expression. Three of his most famous symphonies are the Third Symphony, the Eroica, the Fifth Symphony, and the Ninth Symphony, the Choral Symphony. <laughs> ¶¶ 